Hello. This video is going to cover Team 2's project presentation for systems analysis and design. To improve the quality of the video, you can click the following button below to increase the resolution. Let's get started with the presentation. The organization our group chose for this project was the University of Memphis. Because we are all students at the University of Memphis, we are all relatively familiar with the web services provided by the university. However, one tool that doesn't exist is an online platform for students to give feedback regarding various services provided by the university. Our project centers around the idea of giving students an outlet to express their opinions about the strengths and weaknesses of the university's various services. The University of Memphis is a public institution that serves over 22,000 students and is home to approximately 2,500 employees, 930 of which are professors. The university offers degrees at many levels, including bachelor's, master's, doctoral, specialist, and juris doctor. The annual operating budget of the university is over $460 million and has an economic impact estimated at over $1.4 billion per year. With the popularity of post-secondary education at an all-time high, keeping enrolled students happy is more important than ever. Students have a wide variety of choices for institutions to attend. Giving students the ability to express frustration with university services not only gives a useful outlet to students, but also helps the university improve its services. Our group proposes a web-based student feedback system that will enable students to easily provide this feedback to the university. Let's take a look at the system's development lifecycle for the proposed system. We will first cover the planning and initiation stages of the SDLC. The first step of the SDLC was initiation. Our group first recognized shortcomings in the as-is system and determined a loose idea of what functionality the 2B system would include. Because the university currently provides a wide variety of services via their web-based My Memphis system, the proposed system should fit nicely alongside the existing tools. To formalize our proposal, a project outline for this new web-based feedback system was created. This outline provides an overview of the proposed system, a loose schedule, and our group members' roles in the project. Our next step was conducting an online brainstorming session, which further outlined the system and led to the creation of a system requirements list. A series of documents was then created to elaborate on the system design. Here is the data flow diagram summary that we created. And here is the user interface design summary that we created. Now that the requirements analysis stage of the project was complete, we moved on to designing the system. To further develop the requirements determined in the planning and initiation stages, our group created a use case diagram which forms the foundation of our system. A data flow diagram was then created to help us further visualize and plan the flow of information through our proposed system. This diagram details the inputs and outputs of the system and how information will be stored. An entity relationship diagram was then created to give us a top-down view of all entities, attributes, and relationships required in the proposed system. Our group then created an acquisition strategy that detailed the specific benefits and hurdles to implementing the student feedback system. Finally, an architecture design diagram was created to help further elaborate our perspective of the system. This helps elaborate how the components of the system will work together. The last step of the design phase was to create a user interface design prototype. Let's take a look at this prototype now. The student would first be required to log into the My Memphis web-based system. The student feedback tools would sit alongside the other tools provided by the My Memphis system. Take a look at the student feedback tools. Students can create a new feedback ticket, check the status of an existing feedback ticket, update a feedback ticket, or close a feedback ticket. Let's click on New Feedback Ticket. The following page would load, allowing us to select the area we would like to leave feedback. 
Let's click the drop down box and see the areas that we can leave feedback. Let's click Parking Services. We will click Submit once our feedback type is chosen. This is the Parking Services feedback form. Many different types of forms could exist which include questions relevant to the feedback area chosen by the student. The student would then complete this form by selecting choices from the drop down menus, typing additional information into the text form, and then clicking the submit button. We could then display the success of the student submission and provide a way for the student to return back to the My Memphis homepage. We estimate that the proposed system could be built in three to five weeks with testing beginning by the fourth week of development. Another two to four weeks could then be spent on short cycles of iterative testing to ensure the system functions as proposed. We can also elicit feedback from students that test the system to try to understand student perceptions of this new tool. If necessary, the development time can be extended by one to two weeks to ensure the system is fully functioning, stable, and robust. In the future, the IT department can continue operation and maintenance of the student feedback system. Currently, students' ability to communicate problems with university services is informal, unclear, and poorly defined. We believe this web-based student feedback system can be a powerful tool for students to make their voices heard. This tool benefits both the university and students and allows students direct access to the administration of various departments at the university. That wraps up our presentation on our web-based feedback system for Systems Analysis and Design, MIS 7610. Thanks for watching.